Hey, what's up, guys? I got a quick um, era video unboxing for you. This is the most recent release of theirs, um, Waterworld, which I think came out uh, a week ago or so. I'm not really sure, but recently. And um, I gotta say, I was not planning on getting this, but um, I just kind of—I don't know. I just kind of—I—I I, I saw it on sale. It was—I think it was on sale for thirty, thirty-six or thirty-eight bucks, which is not really a sale, but. Um, I don't know. I just I just saw it and I just I kind of just bought it without really thinking about it and I got it delivered and here it is. Um, and now I'm gonna unbox it, I guess, because um, I just buy stuff now. Um, um, like I said, I think I just did the Crimson Peak one a month or so ago or less. Um, I hadn't bought an Arrow video release in a while and now all of a sudden I bought two in the last however long it's been. Let me unbox this now because. I feel like I talk too long about this shit, even though I'm just, like, babbling about nothing. But let's just open this up. I've only seen this film once, I think. A long time ago, so how... Actually, how old is this movie? This is... I think it was 95, so 6, 7, 8, 9, shit... Uh, 24 years ago? Can I count right? Am I counting right? So this comes off. This is the, um... Actually, I'm gonna look at this quick first. Beyond the Horizon... The Secret to a New Beginning. Well, hold on. I just said that wrong. Beyond the Horizons... Shit. I can't read for whatever reason. It's Sunday night and I, I'm, it's late after watching the stupid fucking Super Bowl. With the stupid damn Patriots winning again, like, like usual. But now I'm going to read this. Sorry. If you're a Patriots fan, I don't care. Um, Beyond the Horizon Lies the Secret to a New Beginning. The most expensive film ever made at the time of its release. I remember that. And that was uh, a really... Um, talked about thing about this film and it was released and then, it, and then it's kind of a meandering film at least like I said I, I haven't seen it in a long time so I'm gonna have to watch it again to find out but I remember it being very very long at least in my mind I was also what 12 13 when I saw it maybe I was 14 I forget it was a couple years after it was released but um I remember it being a long fucking movie and I, I as a child I remember thinking it was fucking boring but you know uh, anyway as I babble on about fucking nothing, most expensive film ever made at the time of its release, Waterworld has thrilled audiences through the years with its awe-inspiring action scenes, gargantuan maritime sets, and groundbreaking special effects. But that is one cool thing. There, a movie like this today would have so much CGI, and I think all the sets, I think anyway, all the sets in Waterworld are built, so there's not really any CGI at all. So no wonder it was so expensive, and all water sets and stuff, so it was just a, probably a bitch to film. Something like that would just wouldn't be done now. A definitive post-apocalyptic blockbuster, Waterworld stars Kevin Costner as the Mariner, a mutant trader adrift in a dystopian future where Earth is submerged underwater and humankind struggles to survive on boats and in ramshackle floating cities. The Mariner becomes embroiled with the Smokers, a gang of pirates who, led by villainous leader Deacon, Dennis Hopper, are seeking Enola, Tina Majorino, a girl with a map to the mythical realm of dry land tattooed on her back. Which, why would she have a tattoo on her back? She's a child. I don't know. Famous for both its epic scale and controversy that swirled around its production, World World, excuse me, Waterworld is a key cult film of the 1990s and an essential entry into the subgenre of ecologically minded blockbusters. Presented here in an exclusive new restoration in three different cuts and with a wealth of extra material, this high water mark of con high concept, excuse me, of high concept Hollywood can now be enjoyed as never before. This is three disc limited edition. Disc one is the theatrical cut. Disc two is the TV cut, which is called the limited edition exclusive. And disc three is the Ulysses cut, also limited edition. Hmm. Uh, three cuts of the film, newly restored from original film elements by Aero Films. Original 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio and 2.0 Stereo Audio Options. Optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Six collectors, postcards, double-sided fold-out poster. Limited edition 60-page perfect, um, perfect bound book featuring new writing a film by David J. Moore and Daniel Griffith and archival articles. Reversible sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Paul Shipper. And the first disc, so the main, the film, the main one that everyone's seen. High Definition Blu-ray, uh, 1080p presentation of the original theatrical cut, Maelstrom, The Odyssey, Waterworld, an all-new 
feature-length making of documentary, including extensive cast and crew interviews and behind-the-scenes footage. That sounds awesome. Dances with Waves, an original archival feature at capturing the film's production. Global Warnings, film critic Glenn Kenny explores the subgenre of ecologically themed end-of-the-world films. Um, production and promotional stills gallery, visual effects stills gallery, original trailers and TV spots. And then I think... Yeah, the, the TV cut is this high definition Blu ray presentation of the extended US TV cut, which runs over 40 minutes longer than the theatrical cut. Damn, I don't think I've ever seen that. And the Ulysses cut, high definition Blu ray presentation of the extended European Ulysses cut, which includes previously censored shots and dialogue. So definitely I've not seen that. And it has the runtime seer, so the theatrical cut is already at 135 fucking minutes. And the extended cut, or TV cut, is 176, and then the Ulysses has two minutes more. Just got some uncensored stuff in there. That's fucking crazy. That's, that's like the length of, um, like, like, um, actually, how long? 178 minutes is three hours, isn't it? It's like, um, Lawrence of Arabia or something. Well, I think that's four hours, but anyway. Uh, aspect ratio is 185, audio 5.1, uh, and 2.0 for audio, color, language, English, subtitles, English, HSDH. And then, you know, the usual. Arrow, Universal, Blu-ray, Region A. I think, are they region free, actually, even though this is region A? No, that's not true, because they released this in the UK, too, so that probably is accurate. DC is also do, do, with audio, video, video uh, 1080p, and not rated, because of the extended cuts. I think otherwise it is uh, rated PG-13 initially. Theatrical cutters, anyway. And here's the barcode and stuff. I'll take this off of here. That's the just the back of it, scene of some water and like a Chinese symbol, or I can't tell what that is. Uh, oops, shit, just came right off. Look at that. There's the front, Kevin Costner Waterworld. It's got one disc, uh, well, no, uh, three discs, and then the um, bound book type thing. There's the spine. There's some. Actually, hold on here. That's a little annoying. It's got some scuffage right there, but that's not that big a deal. I prefer it. I don't. This is, this is on the same material as like um, I think my thing and my um. Uh, hills have eyes. I guess they're all kind of like this. Are they? Yeah, I guess they are. Never mind. I was gonna go some of that, but I guess not. So the packaging looks fine. It's in sturdy conditioning. I just don't care for that so much, but that's not a big deal. There's the disc with that new artwork, so I'm going to switch that around when I get a chance. That's the same information on there. Look at that in a second. Here's the poster, and here's the book, or the um, um, articles and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the... Um, Articles and whatnot. So that's the new one, an older one, a couple old ones, and there's the new one here. Plus for dry liner inside. Oh, yeah, I just said all this stuff. Waterworld computer game. Oh, did I say that already? Oh. I did not know there was a game. Water, water everywhere. Merchandising Waterworld. <laughs> oh shit. Kevin Costner, Dennis Hopper, Gene Tri Triplehorn, uh, Artie Kelly, Kim Coates, I recognize him, that's from um, Sons of Anarchy, I think, other characters, Jack Black, oh that's right, Jack Black's in this, you know, the crew, directed by Kevin Reynolds, <coughs> excuse me, written by Peter Rader and David Toohey, David Toohey, the guy who made um, um, the Chronicles of Riddick in those films. So, you know, take that however you want. And there's Gene Triplehorn. And there's that girl. Oh, yeah, she, I, it said in the back, it said um, the film that she was in before was Napoleon Dynamite. Now I recognize her from that film. Which, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go through all this, but there's a lot of information here. Cool. Oh, shit. Remember Dennis Hopper was very... Um, cheesy in this, if I recall correctly, but like I said, it's been a while. I remember he pees inside some, into like some contraption and drinks of the water. I remember thinking that was fucking funny. <laughs> Taking the plunge on Waterworld. 
this is about tr a ship. We're watching this now. Drowning planet with only one hope. You. Oh, is this the game? Oh, <laughs> I do not recall that. Merchandising. Yeah, it cost a lot of money. It cost like $150 million, I think, in 1995, which was a lot of fucking money. And then the usual. Restoration production cards. Special thanks. And then there's him with that stupid high thing. Oh. Uh, cool. And here's the poster. So it's got the original artwork and then the new artwork here. There's the original theatrical artwork. Which you can't really get on the screen here, but you know. And then the new artwork. I actually have a lot of these posters that I just kind of leave with the um, case, but I kind of like the new art. There. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I keep coughing. Australia's got postcards. So here is the theatrical cut. There is the TV cut, and then here is the um, Ulysses cut. Cool if it had different artwork, but that's fine. And then hold on, let me get these postcards out. The first is um, the um, thing that they always put in with all the other releases. But then it's got Robocop on here, which I forgot that they're releasing Robocop this year. That's actually pretty cool. Robocop is a pretty cool movie. It's a little dated now, but it's still neat. Robocop 2 I saw for the first time, I think, just like a year or so ago, and it sucked. And I haven't seen Robocop 3, so I'm not into those. <laughs> Let's take a look at these postcards. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the same on each back. Water world. He's on some zip line thing. He's yelling and screaming. He's in a cage. Kevin Costner, man. Uh, this is, I think, when he's trying to barter, I think. I guess that it's been a while. I think this is when they're on his ship with him. And there's him being crazy. Holding some Jack Daniels. Shit. There we go. I guess that's it. Let me re return this uh, art book around. Not art book. This artwork around. Oh, okay. I thought it would be the same art as the poster, but I guess it's... I don't recognize this... This is like poster word, poster art. Uh, I don't recall if that's actually old art, but still cool, I guess. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Oh, there it is. This, this, this is this is the same artwork there. That's why I thought it was just some some mumble to myself. So anyway, that's oh, shit. I'm dropping shit everywhere I go. This is, like I said, it's not on sale or anything, so I paid 30, almost 40 bucks for this. So if you want to wait, I would if you, you know, it's, like I said, the film, um, I don't know, it's, like, it's been a while since I saw it. I, I don't know if I can recommend it. I'd, I'd recommend giving it a rent. I think it's probably on, where you, you could probably watch it for free on Voodoo or something. I'm not really sure, but, um, I'm, I'm glad to have it. I, I also figure this is a limited edition. At some point, these won't be out of in stock anymore. And if I don't want to keep this, I could just sell it for what I paid for it, at least, in the future. But um, I am planning on giving it a shot. I want to see the extended cuts, because I have never seen those before. But that also makes them really long. But yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Looking forward to checking this out. Ooh, it's wobbly. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a comment below if you want. Thanks for... Uh, let me know if you are interested in this film, if you've seen it, if you knew about the history behind it, if you like Kevin Costner. I'm not a hater or anything, but I don't I don't see very many films of his that I liked. But it's been a while, so. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it, and...